Hi, friends. I'm so glad you're here. We are almost ready to begin. Before we do, I want to invite you to participate. Share your ideas with me in real time during the show. We'd also love for you to be part of the kid team. You can record videos, snap photos, and more to be part of future episodes. After the show, head over to wimmy.tv slash you to learn more about this and more. Okay, I think we're ready to start. So glad you're here. Let us know you're here. We're having fun. We're going to sing. We're going to create. We're going to explore art. My friend Phyllis is here. My friend Dorota is here. Oh, man. Okay, okay. But here's what we're going to do to get started. Uh, share with us something that you can do in the snow. Snow! Winter! What do you love to do? Let us know. If you're happy that it's snowing, build a snowman. If you're happy that it's snowing, build a snowman. If you're happy that it's snowing, bundle up and then get going. If you're happy that it's snowing, build a snowman. Now, maybe you love to make snowmen. Or what is it that you like to do? Maybe, hmm, I don't want to say too much because you are, I'm hoping you. Yes, you watching this live. Let's see. Oh, snowball games. If you're happy that it's snowing, have a snowball game. If you're happy that it's snowing, have a snowball game. If you're happy that it's snowing, bundle up and then get going. If you're happy that it's snowing, have a snowball game. Oh man, you could build a fort. You could go sledding. Who loves to go sledding? If you're happy that it's snowing, then go sledding. If you're happy that it's snowing, then go sledding. If you're happy that it's snowing, bundle up and then get going. If you're happy that it's sledding, Snowing, then go sledding. <laughs> oh man, that's so great, sledding! I think we think alike, don't we, friends? Haha. <laughs> Let's see. How about um, snowmen? We did that. Snow women, snow kids, sledding, snowshoeing. Anybody out there like to go snowshoeing? Haha. <laughs> How about snow angels? If you're happy that it's snowing, do a snow angel. If you're happy that it's snowing, make a snow angel. If you're happy that it's snowing, bundle up and then get going. If you're happy that it's snowing, make a snow angel. <laughs> I love it. Build a snowman. Ooh, what about skiing? Anybody love to ski? Or what about this? Stay inside at the museum and look at artwork and watch the snowflakes come down and go, Oh, nice out. Okay, okay, friends. It is time for time to explore art. Ah, uh, hi, fellas. Hi, Weeby. How are you? Oh, good, good, good. Hey, what do you like to do in the snow? Snow angels. It's all oh. about the snow angels. <laughs> So fun, so fun. I'm so glad we're working together on today's show and all year long, right? When the DIA, you're going to help us explore artwork. So excited. I love art. I love going to the museum and looking at art and while I maybe eat something and maybe afterwards have some coffee. I just, I love art. Art is a, a very beautiful way to experience the world. So I'm so happy to be here and to be with you, Wimmy. Oh, likewise, likewise. Should we get right to it? Should we take a look at today's artwork? Now, we are going to hear later from Dorota from the Detroit Institute of Arts, and she's going to share some more information. But you and I get to look at this piece of artwork right now, like we're looking at it for the first time ever. Oh, yeah. oh. What do you what do you think, Phyllis? Okay, so tell me, when you look at this, Wimmy, what do you see? Hmm, okay, I, well, I see trees. You see trees. I see that. And what makes you think they are trees, Wimmy? 
Oh, uh, well, they're sh- the shape. They're kind of like pine trees, but wait, they're, t- they're not green. That's interesting. But yes. the shape, it reminds me of a pine tree. Yes, I do see that. Now, when you look at a pine tree, does it remind you of anything else about snow? Hmm. Hmm. Well, it looks like this. Like, okay, I see the shape of the tree. Some are close and some are back in the mountains okay. in the shape. And I see snow, like on the whole mountaintop, it feels like there's snow everywhere. Okay, good. And what what makes you think it's snow, Winnie? Oh, well, I know up like in the mountains that it's like typically colder. And so I remember that it's cold in mountains and it's kind of the color. Wait, the, but the color, it was interesting, right, Dorota? The snow, oh, <laughs> Dorota's coming later. Phyllis, Phyllis, um, um, it's snow, but it's also pink. I think the sky is like reflecting off the snow. Yes, yes, it is. What else do you see with me when you look mm. closer gotcha. or above those clouds? Like, oh, what what oh, else do you there- see? Yeah, okay, okay. So the clouds, the, the, wait a minute. It, is that like a bird, a giant bird in the sky? And what makes you think it's a bird? Mm. Well, it looks like a, like, like turkey feathers in the back. Makes me think okay. of a turkey and like a long beak in the front. I see that. I see that. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful too. It's so mm. beautiful. Now, when you are looking at those snow caps there, we mean, um, do you see, do you see like it's people there? What else can you see? Tell me what mm. else you see on there, like on top of those snow caps. I think those are, yeah, we like the trees in the front. It looks like there's trees way in the background because they're the same shape. Yes. Okay. Okay. And what color is above to your left, to your left of that, right? Oh, I Close see. To the I saw I saw some yellows yes. and oranges and reds. Yes, I see oh. that too. Okay, now when you look at this, we mean anyone else out there? What else do you see? In our viewers, do you are you looking? Um, can you see what we're looking at? Uh, what can you see there? Come on, just tell us a few of the things that you notice as well. Anybody? Right. Anybody else? We mean we mean you have a great eye for art. Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks for helping me think about this. It looks like a building, like a cabin in the snow there. A house. Yeah, Rita Re- said too. Yes, Rita, you're right. I do see a house. Rita said a house. I see that too. Good. Yes, Wimmy, I also see that. It's it's a house. And what color is the roof, Wimmy? Hmm. Well, I think it, is it covered with the white and blue bluish snow? Yes, it's bluish snow. I see. And friends at home, do you see, do you see, what, what is, do you see in this beautiful, beautiful art? I feel like What's I want a, a cup of coffee right now. Oh, hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Is that another house on the left that's like covered in snow? Yes, it is. It is another house. <clears throat> You're absolutely right. You are so right there with me. And do you see anything else uh, next to that little house to your left? You see, like maybe somebody. What do you see? Like people walking? Anything like that? Hmm. I don't. I don't know if I notice people. Maybe they got covered. Maybe there's people that got covered up in the snow. <laughs> that could be if we if we pretend. Maybe they're skiing. <laughs> yes. And our friends at home, what else do you see? Just tell us. Let's explore some arts together. Oh, I love it when the you... sun. I think there's the sun in the sky. Awesome. What makes you say that? What What makes you see it as the sun, Wimmy? Um, the shape is it like the sun's a circle? Okay. People walking towards the house. Very correct, Beverly. I saw that. I did see that too. Hmm. Another house in the trees. You are correct, Rita. That was that oh. house. It's like two houses. I'm so fascinated with the sun. Wait, a volcano? Whoa. Look at the sun. It looks like there's a little tree inside the sun. Could that be a tree? That's correct. That's correct. We may see that. Uh, Tony Tony said uh, there's a volcano. It does look like a volcano. You are oh. correct. Fiery. Lava. It looks like lava there. I'm going to look for the people. I wonder if I can find people now. Yes, I think it was Rita. Rita said people, right? Was that you, Rita? Hmm. 
What else do you see? What else do you see? Let's explore this beautiful art. Are, are I, the people Michael. right in front? I wonder, oh, now I'm starting to wonder, yeah, if those are people walking towards the, the what looks like a building on the left. Yeah, well, okay. And what makes you think they are people, Wimi? What makes you think they are people? Well, now I'm seeing, yeah, the, the shape could be like the shape of a head. They're, they're like silhouettes. We don't see the details, but we see the shape, like the head on top of the body. You're right. Okay. I see that. What else? Let's hmm. keep exploring. I see so much. about this giant bird in the sky. If that's meant to be something specific or if it's what I notice in the clouds. Now, what is, um, I think it was, somebody said there were people, it was, was it Rita that said there were people walking and you, you can feel their footsteps? You can see that? No. <clears throat> Correct, Beverly. I do, I do see people walking. I see people walking. I wonder who the people are. Oh, very good question. Would you would you guess maybe they were friends or going to see uh, the the house together? What else? Maybe there's, there's so much yeah. more. Maybe they're on. Well, you know what? I, I I think it's the end of the day. The sun is setting, and I see the colors like on the trees that are orangish, reddish from the uh, and pinkish from the sky, and maybe they're going inside the house for coffee. <laughs> a hot cocoa <laughs> and hot cocoa okay and what is uh, what else do you see that those people <gasps> i i just i didn't see this till now up on the top right there's another house kind of behind the trees i think i see that do you see it? yes it's, it's like a triangle shape like the roof i do see it. oh that is that's i, I do see that shape now Huh. And um, we, we meet, do you also see like it's a, another tree next to that house? I see, I see so many trees, right? There's a tree in front of it, behind it. There's a tall one. Oh, and I just, now I'm thinking about that volcano way in the back. I wonder if that is a volcano way in the back. I do see that yeah. volcano. Huh. Man, oh man, I could keep looking and thinking. You know what though, Phyllis, our friend Dorota from the DIA is here. Should we go to her and find yes. out if she's, what she knows, she knows a lot about the painting. Yes, well, Phyllis, she... thank you so much for thank... helping us explore this. Thank you, Wimmy. That was fun. Thank you so much. I loved it. <laughs> awesome. Hey, let's go to Dorota from the DIA. Welcome, Dorota. Hi, Wimmy. How are you today? Oh, good, good. Phyllis and I have been exploring this artwork and we're wondering about buildings, trees, sunset. Who, first of all, who painted this painting? Well, the, the, the artist is Ernst Ludwig Kirchner. Uh, he was German, but for many years he lived in Switzerland. And when he first came to Switzerland in 1917, so over 100 years ago, he wanted to get away from the city and to be closer to nature. So he found this a cabin, so a very simple house, similar to the houses that you and Phyllis uh, saw in the painting. And he lived there for, uh, uh, for, for, uh, for uh, many years. And um, the, the, the painting that we see, which is a square, shows a view from the artist's window. Yeah, so amazing to live and see that each day. Right, right. So when when Kirchner moved from the city to the mountains, this entirely new subject became available to him because before he painted mostly city uh, uh, city streets and scenes from his studio, and now he painted mountains and not the small hills, but the Alps, the high mountains that have this dominating presence. And um, we do know how, how the artist uh, got the idea uh, for this painting. Would you like to hear that with me? I would love to. So uh, we know it because he wrote about it in his not one, but two letters to his friends. And uh, he woke up early in the morning, very early in the morning or late in the night. And he saw through the window of his house this blue mountains in the moonlight. So it is not actually a sun, the <gasps> sun, but it's, it's, uh, it's the moon th that we can see. And he saw this purple sky and he saw the, the yellow moon. 
And he said that he had never seen so much light in the night. And his exact words were that it was madly beautiful, but it was cold, so he couldn't work right away. But he did a, a few hours later, he did a little sketch in one, one of, of these uh, two letters that he sent to his friends. So this tells us how important to him was the direct experience of nature. And this picture, when we, when, can we look, uh, can we look at the picture, the entire picture, Ms. Stephanie, now? Yeah. yeah. So it is filled with energy. So when we look at it, our gaze, our eyes travel down the hill and then up to the mountains. And Kirchner used color in extraordinary way. And he called himself a color man. Yeah. And this, the, the colors let us experience this wintry chill of early morning. So, so we can look at the colors now, because the, the way how the artist thought, it was through color, colors. He, he built his, his work with these blocks of color. So clouds that shape that we were wondering about, that bird shape, yeah. that's probably a cloud. Sometimes cloud can, can assume a shape of an animal or of an object that we can recognize. So these, these clouds to me, they looked like explosions of yellow over red. And then when we look at the mountains, there are blue, but there is also lilac. There is turquoise and purple. And you and Miss Phyllis already talked about the trees. So these are, um, these are actually, these are pine trees, but also large trees. And uh, they are just painted with this forceful brush strokes and there are pink and black. So I do think that this little dark marks that, that you both were looking uh, at so closely, these are not people, but probably trees, smaller trees. Gotcha. And this, 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 this magic colors, magic coloration is made even more fantastical, but this shimmering yellow crescent moon, this is, this is quite, quite extraordinary. It's beautiful. I love when we look really close at the moon, and that makes sense that it's moon. And even the title of the piece talks about that, right? The exact title is what again? It is Winter Landscape in the Moonlight. In the Moonlight. So the artist told us that information in the title, and a moon and sun are similar shapes. And it looked to me, I like how it looked. It felt like there was like a tree in the moon, but I think that was me imagining that a little <laughs> bit probably. But, but that's, that's what, uh, what the artist did for him, that direct observation of the nature around him was very important. But then he filtered it through his uh, own uh, subjective feelings and through his emotions. So Kirchner, the artist, he never, uh, he had never painted anything that he, he uh, hadn't seen with his own eyes or hadn't experienced, but that direct and uh, accurate photographic uh, depiction was not that important for him. He thought that there is a role for imagination and he stressed that, uh, that imagination is important. I love that. I love it. And I love being imaginative and creating. Hey, friends at home, if you have any questions, post in the comments. And um, the Rota and I can do our best to answer or to just discuss it and say, yeah, it did feel like people. But the artist, most likely, it was trees in the front. And that kind of ties into what you were saying as far as how we see things, how things are painted, what it reminds us of, what we feel. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I can add one more uh, small, uh, small uh, detail. So that volcano shaped slender uh, mountain that we see in the distance. And it is a central point of the painting because it somehow attracts our attention. So this was the Tintenhorn mountain that fascinated Kirchner and he depicted it in many of his paintings. Wow, wow. so cool. Hey, um, Dorota, do you like to go sledding? 
Uh, yes, I do. I do. Can, can you imagine going sledding in this painting? We'd be like, wait. Oh, that would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Do oh, Michael had a question. How long do we know how long this painting took to be created? Uh, we don't know that exactly. We know that he painted it after after that experience that he wrote about. So uh, at the at the end of January and before spring. But we don't know exactly when. Gotcha. Do you have a question? Do you have any idea roughly how many paintings were created um, by Ernst? Oh, that's a very good question. And I do want to be exact. But uh, I know that um, the paintings that he featured that Tinsenhorn mountain, there was uh, about, uh, about 10 of them. But overall, that he painted many more works, uh, both when he lived in the city and when he lived uh, in the mountains. Got it, got it. So cool. Well, friends, go to the DIA, check out all the great artwork, and remind us, is this piece on, on exhibit right now? It is on exhibit in our modern art galleries. And it is so exceptional and so beautiful that it has a wall to itself. So one can stand in front of it and look and look and look and imagine oneself just right there among the snowy mountains peak wow. and uh, with the spiky trees around. Oh, I love it. I love it. Dorota, thanks so much. We'll see you later. Ooh, ooh. Join us for the game later. We're going to do a scavenger hunt. <laughs> I will. Thank you so much, Wimmy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Man, friends, this is so cool. Exploring art, discussing art, learning about art right now. Guess what, friends? We're going to create a story together. I invite you, friends at home, we're going to be inspired by this piece of art and make a story. So I just need words. Share with us a word, a silly word, an ordinary word, a winter word. And in my first sentence, I will set the scene. In the second sentence of a story, there will be a problem. No! But don't worry, because in our story, by the third sentence, we'll solve the problem. <laughs> Let's do this together, friends. Think of a word. Take a moment and just think of a word. Could be silly, winter. Maybe it's like we were asking earlier, some of the favorite things you love to do in the winter. Then another word will be used, and there'll be a problem. <laughs> but my favorite part is the solution. <laughs> I like to say it that way, too. So nouns person, place, or thing work best for our story. Let's see. I'm going to set the scene. I wonder who will be in the story. <laughs> oh, penguin. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, so our story begins. It's got something to do with a penguin. Okay, I got it. Last week, a penguin was going sledding down the mountains, having a great time. Okay, so we know the scene. It's a penguin sledding down the mountains, but oh no! The the problem's coming. Friends, guess what? We're going to bring in the Wimage board. <laughs> We're going to see this illustrated right now in front of our eyes. Oh, there's the penguin. And the penguin's going to sled down the hill. Whee! <laughs> that looks so fun. I want to hang out with that penguin. Okay, so friends, our penguin, sadly, there's going to be a problem. No. Friends at home, who's got an idea for a word that will inspire the problem? We, we could name our penguin. Hmm, we could come up with all kinds of ideas. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hi, Penguin! Ooh, he's at the top of the mountain. Let's see. As we have our story continue, maybe there's a new character in the story. Maybe it's got something to do with the clouds, the birds, the moon, the crescent moon, the lodges. Let's see, friend. You know what? I'm wondering, let's ask Phyllis. Hey, Phyllis, do you have a word, just one word that you can share that will inspire the problem? What do you think? I love snowball fighting, so I will say <gasps> fight. Oh my goodness! Whoa, a snowball fight! No, the penguins like I was just wanting to sled. Okay, so let's see. The word will be snowball. It'll be a snowball fight. So we need to get the snowballs in there. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Okay, so we got the different snow. Ooh, nice. Look at we're exploring the possibilities, and it looks like that penguin's getting ready to be like, hold on. <laughs> Mm, okay, so what if I got, oh, look at that, the snowball's ready, the penguin's ready. Let's add another character then. How about it's a, who would be in the winter? Oh, I'm going to put me in the story. Uh-oh, maybe I'm part of the problem? Do I start a, a, a snowball fight? 
<laughs> I'm going to do it. Sometimes I do feel a little sneaky and mischievous. Okay, so here's the story at the start. A penguin, uh, the other day, a penguin was having a lovely time sledding down the hill. I, Wimmy, came in and started a snowball fight. Oh, no, the penguin was like, no. Okay, the penguin doesn't want to have the snowball fight. So we need a solution. Who's going to help the penguin to negotiate this situation? <laughs> Friends at home, who's got an idea? Post a word, a comment, a thought. Oh man, look at that penguin. He's got super abilities. He's like, doo, 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 doo. maybe that penguin's taking matters into his own hands. And he's like, hey, Wimmy, I think I would prefer to go sledding. And then I'd be like, oh my goodness, I didn't mean to. Okay, okay. Maybe that's the solution is the penguin just said, yeah, oh, look at that now. Okay, we're going sledding. I think that's the solution is the penguin. So the word would be, Conversation. <laughs> the penguin solved his own problem. I love it. So look at that. We put the snowballs down and we're sledding. Wee! <laughs> we did it, friends. We have our story. The beginning, the middle was the so the problem where the that penguin did not want to have a snowball fight. The solution was the penguin said, "No thanks. Let's discuss this differently." <laughs> We did it, friends. Okay, our story, our artwork. We're going to play a game. You guys ready? We're going to get ready to wrap up our show um, uh, uh, with a game called Find It Fast. Okay, friends at home, find something that starts with S, like snow. Find something cold, like snow. Find something white, like Ha, 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 you guessed it, um, snow. Okay, so friends, see what you can find. Uh, look around, look around, ask uh, for ideas or help if you want some help. Friends of the show, Dorota, Phyllis, Miss Stephanie's running the show today. What can we find that could be a possibility? Let's add some excitement to this. Dorota, what did you find? I found the scarf. Oh, scarf, I love it. <laughs> Friends at home, what else starts with S? Or could be white, or could be cold. Phyllis, what is it that you have found? I found a spoon. Oh, perfect, that starts with S. Now, if you leave it in a freezer with ice cream, for example, that spoon might get really cold too. <laughs> All right, friends at home, have you found anything? Hmm, let's see, what else starts with S? Soap? Um, sand? Um, what else is cold? Ice cream? Um, what else is white? Um, oh, Dorota, what did you find? I found um, a white keyboard. All the buttons on the keyboard are white. <laughs> I love it. So fun, so fun. Let's see. Sam? Anybody have an Uncle Sam? That would be S. Sugar! Sugar starts with S, indeed. And if you put that sugar, and it's white. Uh, well, not all sugar. There's brown sugar, there's white sugar, there's cane sugar, there's powdered sugar. <laughs> if you put the sugar out in the winter cold, it'd be like, brr, brr. Oh, man. So fun. So fun. Do you know how to say cold in American Sign Language, by the way? Clench your fists and then freeze. Like, well, not really. Literally freeze. It's like shake. Show you're cold. <laughs> I gotta make sure my hands are in the right position. Well, friends, thanks for helping us out with Find It Fast. If you want to play this game at home too, anytime, just think of things to find. Send people on their way and say, go! Set a timer, play some music when the music ends. That means it's time to wrap up the game. Well, thanks, friends. It has been a pleasure hanging out. Let's say goodbye to Phyllis and Dorota as we have our dance party. Ha <laughs> ha, friends, this has been so much fun. Thanks so much. Join us next month for another piece of art that we explore. <laughs> Go to the DIA. Check out the exhibit. Go, Phyllis. Go, Phyllis. Go, Dorota. Go, Dorota. Ha <laughs> ha, friends at home, dance with us. Freeze. Dance. Oh, freeze. Dance! Whoa! Thanks, friends! You guys are awesome!
Wimmy's Wimmy's Word is brought to you by by District Library Library and and Wimmage with additional support support by these great great partners. 